Hey everybody, I'm going to do a drag today, so I'm uh, in the process of getting my colors on my canvas. The first color I've put down is the black, because I want some depth. So um, I'm going to get my rags wet real quick. I'm back um, and I'm not sick um, my voice is like this because I had company for three days of girlfriend I've known since 1980 in high school um, and of course you laugh and you talk and your voice goes hoarse because you I haven't seen her in five years so um, it, it was just good to get together with her but um, I miss her and I'm so glad she came I'm glad she did a pour with me and uh, well, these are the colors we had left over. Even more, co I used these yesterday for that one flip, uh, for that one boiler maker with the um, balloon smash. And I've still got colors left over. This is an 18 by 24 canvas. I've put my black on. Uh, next, I'm going to use some of the blue. And you just, you know, it's just willy nilly. Wherever you want to put your paint is fine. Nothing is wrong, ever. Nothing is ever wrong. Just whatever you feel. Whatever your hand just wants to do, just let it do it and go and play and just have fun. When I first started, I was so intimidated and you don't need to be intimidated. You really don't. Um, it's just it's just meant to be fun, and you create some of the most beautiful works of art in the process, and it's just amazing. So just have fun with it. Don't stress over it. Look at your colors every day, or whatever day you decide to paint, and whatever calls out to you, pull those colors out first. Whatever calls to you first immediately that day, pull out those colors and uh, work with those colors that day. And um, those colors call out to you for a reason. Um, this is a, uh, a metallic red that Lee wanted to use. And I've still got some left over. And I'm going to put some metallic on here. Um, and the only other really metallic, which really wasn't metallic, was just a sequin black, which is what's on there now. Um, just have fun with it. left of the tan. Just trying to get that gooky dried off paint off my stick here. Okay. And some tan. 
And I'm leaving that space up at the top for the color that I'm going to use to swipe with. Which I'm going to put a lot of paint at the top and swipe down and cover this with that color. And then these colors will come through from the bottom to the top. And it's really, really pretty. Next, I'm going to use the Burnt Sienna. Okay. And I just, I'm just using this leftover paint because I just want to get rid of it. And I want to see what I can do with, with, a, with a drag. I haven't done a drag in a long time. And I um, thought it was time to do one again with these extra colors I had left over. Again, just have fun. Don't stress. Just play. Just have fun and play with it. See, I'm not worrying about where the paint goes or what it does. I'm just putting it on there. Next, I'm going to use the last bit of this little tiny bit of bright red. Doesn't matter where it lands. It's just you know. It just doesn't matter. Just go with it. And then the last color is the um, Naples yellow. Just one of my favorite colors. You just went outside, so stop whining at me, baby girl. Want to make sure she lets you out first today. Yeah. All right, and this is the um, Naples yellow right here. Katie, please stop crying. You've got food. You've been out potty. I don't know what else you want. Your toys are in there. Yeah. Katie. Okay, now I think, let's see, with silicone, white with silicone. Because I do want cells, so I'm going to put white with silicone at the top. Silicone with white, white with silicone, and I've got some um, just a piece of cardboard from uh, six piece 10 by 20 canvases. I got so we're gonna just swipe over it, okay? Rocco, you can't be laying right underneath me, baby. You can't be doing that, sweetheart. I'm sorry I stepped on you. I'm so sorry, baby. Mommy had no idea you were there. Okay, swipe that up and get some more cells. I'm going to swipe that over. Mm. 
Alrighty. Let's see what I need to do here. Got a little bit of paint there. You know what? I'm just going to swipe that. Um, shoot. Okay, now I'm going to torch it. Make sure I got all those bubbles out. See what kind of effects I can get with all these different colors. Okay. And I'm thinking about squashing with the balloon today again with this. Should I squish with the balloon a little bit, make some flowers? I think I do. Okay. Water balloon time! Water balloon time. Here we go. I want to squish here first because that's kind of unattractive. There we go, that's pretty. See, it makes it just so much prettier. Okay, I need to go rinse this off. Pretty, um, really pretty one too. On this one, I don't want too much crossover on colors. Um, that's why I'm washing it off. Because I pretty much just want what's underneath. And I don't really want to mix up a bunch of colors. So... This is what we need in order to improve traffic congestion in the congestion areas. So all I'm going to do is something that's going to make a huge impact. 
And I'm just putting it down and twisting it, bringing it back up. One more small One more on the bottom. Wash it off again. Coming back. I'm gonna get the torch going a little bit here on top of what I've already squished. about ate that one, huh? But I caught it. I caught it. and off the balloon with my uh, sprayer on my sink, so.
if you don't want to cross colors and you want something to look a certain way, you got to wash your balloon off because, you know, if you don't want things to get crossed over. And I'm leaving a few cells here and there, but I want to make sure this is a pretty flower painting. If you have a sprayer, which most people do these days on their um, sinks, you know, it takes two, you know, a few seconds to, to wash off a balloon. As you can tell, it doesn't take me that long. From the bottom of this, balloon here. Okay. I think that is done. Now let's put some color up here from the bottom of this. Mm. Okay, still got color down there. Uh, sorta. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. I'm going to plop down on that red right there and move some of that right up there. Well, that didn't work, did it? Right there. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a nice dark color right there. That right there. It's not doing it. Too much white. Oh well. Doing the best I can here. And then next week, the chill comes back for sure. It's still winter. Most of March is considered winter there, so we'll have to be blessed. Hey, Frank. Well, why some older adults may want to consider using medical marijuana and new genes linked to Alzheimer's disease? Yeah, I'm mixing this up a little bit on the bottom so I can get some color at the top of this. So. Some symptoms of chronic diseases for older people. A new study at the American Academy of Neurology annual meeting okay. shows medical marijuana may be safe. And well, I think we're good. Sleeping problems and anxiety related to Parkinson's There's some more color. Cool. All right.
feelings of security in their marriage. Those are some of today's top health stories on hits at CBS News. All right. And now, it's pretty much done. Let me see if I can get a little, yeah, let me get a little bit of, of paint that's left out of here. Dripping, 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 dripping. Okay. And then some tan, and the rest of the tan. I'm glad I left a little bit in here. I can squish the top and it'll look a lot better. That white up there, I don't like all that white area up there. So I'm just gonna put that up there. I'm gonna squish. Put the balloon. Get some color up there. Everything's fixable. Everything's fixable. Drops will come out. Okay. And blue, a little bit more blue. And the thing, the reason not, why nothing is a mistake is because. If you start selling your art, somebody is going to have an eye for what you're doing. No matter if you think it's a disaster or not, someone is going to love your piece. So just stick with it. Don't give up. Just want these colors to mix. Oh. Okay, well that <laughs> I knew I was going to do that eventually, but that's okay. It's okay. If I drop the balloon, it's absolutely fine. Cuz I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. Just take your balloon and go back. And just do that, and you're good. Now you've got your smear is gone. Completely and utterly gone. All right. That is beautiful. And that is finished, except for a little bit of torching. Where did I put my torch? There it is. I just really have so much fun working with art like this. I finally found. I never thought I could paint. You know, you never. I never, because I, I couldn't draw a stick figure. So I thought, okay, I'm talentless when it comes to art. But then I found Mixed Media Girl on YouTube, and y'all need to follow her. 
and Christina Welch because they're all amazingly more talented than I am and can give you a lot more tips. And I learned from them because they are they are much more experienced. They've been in this for years. So, um, and I've only been in it for six to seven months. So I'm still learning. They're still learning new techniques. Um, but the techniques I do and fail at, they do really well at. Like a tree ring pour. Um, I've only had one successful tree ring pour to date, and that one sold. And uh, I'm, I just keep plugging along, you know. So I'm going to give you guys a close-up real quick of this. Can't really see it without the light, huh? I don't want that. Well, the light's shining on it, so. But that's, you know, expected. Because it's still wet, but that's pretty much the, uh, the maining. Let me try to move that light off of there a little bit. There you go. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.